Hey there, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates, and today I'm going to be going over another example on how you can calculate median. The first two videos where I talked about this, we were using a formula to calculate the median if you have different criteria. Um, but in this example, I'm going to show how we can do the same thing using the pivot table. Let me open up the file we were using. Okay, so I'll link to the first two videos if you want to go over the median formula. But basically, we have, had gone and added this column to get median data by individual salary grade. So we were looking at a data set with a lot of different market values per salary grade, and we were getting the median for each. This was our market data, so you'll see there's just, um, just a bunch of sample data. And in the second video, we wanted to get the median of several grades combined. So um, we were looking at grades D, E, and F and wanted to see what is the median for those three grades combined. So we can do all of that with pivot tables. But there's a little trick to getting the pivot table to work. Um, so as you go to highlight the information and go to insert pivot table, before you do anything next, you need to make sure that you check this little add, add this data to the data model. This way we can add median as a, as a type. Okay, so with a normal pivot table, you wouldn't have this option right here. And if we were to say we wanted to put this 50th percentile data in the value section and you um, right click on the value um, field settings, you'll see that we're able to summarize the values by average, min, max, count, standard deviation, but median is not in this list. Um, so there's, um, so that's why we needed to select that checkbox when we first did the pivot table, because now we can right click on this range one and select add measure. And we're gonna name it median. And then in this uh, formula bar, click the FX and then scroll to where we can find median. Click OK. And then we want to select the column that has, and then close parenthesis, median already exists. OK, because I already did this previously. So let me just put median for example and then okay okay so now i have it as an option median for example and you'll see it appears at the bottom of the other column header options here so from here i can just drag this and put it in the values and of course that's giving me the median of everything that eighty-three thousand. that ties out with our median formula here if we just did equals median of the entire column. But what we want to see is the median by grade first. So then we'll put um, the, uh, the grade column into the rows. And then that's going to give us the median for each grade. So that should line up to um, what we had for our formulas, 117. 86 and 90, 76, 74. So that lines up with what we had before. Now, if we wanted the median for a combination of the grades, there's a couple ways we could do that. You could filter out the grade that you want to show. So say um, I would move the grades to this filter box. And then now I can check the select multiple items and I'm going to uncheck G and H. So I'm trying to get the median of D, E, and F. Click OK. And then now I have 97.5. And that 97.5 is the same that we got using this long formula from the previous video. Um, 
So that is another way to get the median if you want to use this pivot table. And then we can do the same thing if we wanted to whoops, check and then uncheck and just get G and H, then we'd get 75 and that lines up with our formula for um, grades G and H. I don't know if I like how this looks very well, so that's why I added this grade combo categories. This was just a formula I added in an if IFS formula, ifs, and uh, basically we're just saying if the grade is D, let's label it professional. If it's E, professional. Um, so it's just putting all grades D, E, and F into the professional category and grades G and H into the management category. So this way I can have a nice label and I would put this here in the rows. And then if we have it there, we can actually remove this assign grade. If I remove it, it should un remove that filter. And then now it's giving me the median for everybody who is in the management category and the median for everybody in the professional category, which is grades D, E, and F. Um, so you could also label it that way or put um, some parentheses in there. So that's how you would get the median using the pivot table. Um, just to recap, before you do your pivot table, you just have to be sure to check that checkbox right here before you click OK. Um, so if you're used to doing a lot of pivot tables, it's very easy to skip that, that part if you're just going on autopilot and clicking OK. So just be sure to check that and then you'll have the option to, um, to add your measure. So I hope that helps. I will link to the other videos we had on medians if you prefer to use the formula method. And don't forget that we also have some free resources here at Time Saving Templates. And we have an HR compensation metrics cheat sheet, a couple of other freebies, and a free guide to get you started with Excel. And you can find this at timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources. For the HR templates, you can also go to the shop in the HR section and also see we have um, several other sections for templates as well. And until next time, don't forget, I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using your Excel spreadsheets. Thanks.